right, good morning. The title of this book is I'd Like to Be the Window for a Wise Old Dog. Words and Pictures by Philip Stead. He's looking out the window and it's snowing. Well, of course there's the little mouse. He's paying attention too. So, and there's the little bird. So, oh, I'd like to be the raindrop falling on a turtle shell. I'd like to be the puddle for a big bullfrog. He's had a lot of mosquitoes. I'd like to be the welcoming umbrella of an elephant. How sweet. But most of all, and most of all, I'd like to be the window for a wise old dog. He looks so comfortable. And there's a rainbow in the window now after the rain. And I sometimes wonder, there's the turtle and the mouse and the frog and the bird. Will I ever be the waddle of a penguin? Will I ever be the waddle of a snail? Will I ever be the tumble of a honeybee? Will I ever be the bumble of a whale? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. No, I, I don't know, but I do know that I'd like to be the warm sun blanketing a buffalo. Nice buffaloes, and big, and they're the birds. I'd like to be the hollow of an owl's oak tree. And there's the owl, and there's that mouse again. I'd like to be the tall grass standing with a mother deer helping hide the little fawns. One, two, three. They think they're hiding, but they're really not. The mother knows where they are. And I sometimes wonder, will I never be the feather of a walrus? Hmm, a feather of a walrus. Will I never be the weather of a wren? Hmm. Don't you just love his hat? <laughs> Will I never be the scurry of a hummingbird? Will I never be the hurry of a little mouse when, as he's flying, do mice fly? When the cat sneaks slowly by. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know. But I do know that I'd like to be the window for a wise old dog who'll look through me and wonder happily. There goes the whale. Wow. Have you ever seen a whale that went by the window? Hmm. He's looking at the cat about everything she's never been and ever been. Joyful and free. What a cute story. The end.